all you awesome people hanging out inside my camera. And all you people in, watching on YouTube too. How's it going? Well, I just wanted to let you know my evil plot was a success. <laughs> that evil plot which I'm talking about was I told you I don't like wearing rain pants and I wanted a rain kilt. Well, I also said that since I can't find one, I got to try to make one. And it worked. It actually worked. I was able to do it. That's awesome. Anyhow, um, I'm going to model it for you, show it off a little bit, and then explain a little bit how I made it. Very, very simple, very, very cheap. Both are things that I enjoy a lot. Anyhow, don't critique my modeling because I'm not a professional model. And also, I apologize for the lighting in this room. Um, it's, it's relatively dim compared to what I usually use. Anyhow, uh, let me do the model walk and you can check out my uh, rain kilt. So here it is. Ta -da! There it is. That's my rain kilt. Very, very simple to make. Um, let me uh, take it off. No, it's not a strip tease. Don't worry, I got shorts on underneath. Because uh, the police don't like it when I wear clear plastics things without clothing underneath. Uh, anyhow, let me uh, pull up a chair and I'll explain how I did this. Like I said, very simple. You take a Piva shower curtain. You can pick these up at Wally World has them. Um, Wally World is Walmart, by the way, for those who don't know. Um, just ask one of the Walmartians where they keep the Piva, Piva shower curtains and they'll show you. Um, anyhow, they have these little holes already made in. I just took a hole punch and punched a couple more holes in. I ran through a regular string cord and then I also ran through an elastic. I did them both because uh, I wanted to test out both, you know, each one individually, see which one I like better. And I ended up liking them both. The problem with the elastic is they only come in one set length, so I wasn't able to get it to the length I wanted. Um, long enough to go through the, the holes, but not long enough to wrap all the way around me one more time to tie it off. So I'm gonna actually go with both of these through. Um, if you're a skinnier person, you can get by with just doing the elastic and you don't need the extra cord string. Okay, uh, then wrap it around you, you cut it off to the length you want. You know, I didn't want it dragging, I wanted, you know, well, you saw it when I had it on. Um, when it, you know, just uh, about the height of high water pants. And so that's what I did. Um, putting it on, taking off, relatively easy. Here, let me show you again. Yes. I'm giving you instructions on how to dress yourself. Um, anyhow, <laughs> here it is. You just uh, wrap it around you. And uh, I take the extra string, which goes around me again and then just tie it off around the side. Now with the elastics, slightly different because if I take the two elastics and tie them together it actually ends up pulling this open and I don't want to do that. I want to stay kind of snug shut. So I take one side of the elastic then find one of the loops here from where the string and elastic S through and wrap it through there. Then I do the same over on this side. Um, and then I pull it and tie it.
and wear it. Uh, I like the fact it's semi-open, which allows me to, you know, climb up on rocks, do the Captain Morgan, or do the Can Can, whichever I want to do. And anyhow, um, and then when I bring that to them. Rain jacket covers the top of it, stop water from going down underneath. Um, so it works great. Alright. Anyhow, oh, that back over there. Anyhow, uh, that's how to do that. Um, also, one thing I did do was uh, pick you up here a little bit. Yeah, we can rock a little bit in the rocking chair. We isn't that fun. Anyhow, one thing I wanted to mention was that uh, I uh, switched out my fording shoes. Uh, when I was buying the nice little Piva here that I'm wearing, I uh, decided to check out the, the shoe section there at Walmart and uh, saw these bad boys. Took them, bought me a pair, they were, they were cheap. Uh, otherwise I wouldn't have bought them because I'm a cheapskate. Um, so I bought them. These are from Swiss Tech. Uh, they don't really have a style name. I guess they're just Swiss Tech sandals. Um, and uh, held this one in one hand, held my other fording shoe in the other hand, and kind of, mm -hmm, this one's lighter. Um, so I'm going with these. Uh, what I like about it is, first of all, they were cheap. Second of all, they're lighter than my other ones. And third of all, these ones actually cover the toe. You know, it's got a nice little thing here. So if I happen to be walking through the river and, you know, a, a snapping turtle or something wants to bite on, he gets a mouthful of plasticky, rubbery, leathery goodness, as opposed to eating my toe. Um, so that's one good thing. Or if I happen to stub my toe on a rock, these offer a little more protection. Uh, and so that's the one switch out I'm doing. Anyhow, that's it for now. Uh, I want to remind you all that uh, you need to get those questions in to me. Um, you've only got, what do you got, like a week? Well, a little bit more than a week, about 10 days or so. You get those questions in for me so that I can do the question answer video in the beginning of February. Any question you have about me, myself, about my gear, about my hiking experience or camping experience or any questions you have about the trail and how I plan on doing certain things and uh, yeah I will try to answer those anyhow I'm still super stoked about going on the trail and yeah that's it <laughs> not much else to say um, and so I will catch you all later oh, let me go Stop this video and then I'll upload it real quick and we'll all live happily ever after. The end.